today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 243, Nasdaq's down 134, S&P's a flat Gold contract up twenty eight dollars trading eighteen eighty three an ounce. You get silver up eighty cents, twenty four dollars fifty cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up seventy two cents, forty one dollars a barrel. Notes and bonds a ten year flat one thirty seven eighteen. The thirty year up six ticks at one seventy twelve. And king dollar, king dollars down fifty eight ticks. 92,639, euros at 118, the yen is at 105 and a quarter, and the British pound is at 132 to one U.S. dollar. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? We got some uh, interesting markets out there, man, uh, both directions. How about that S&P already just since the market opened? 25 points down and 25 points right back up to the highs we made just after 930. There, there's no doubt. And, you know, when you talk about divergence, folks, okay, this is some of the biggest divergence uh, I've seen in years. Uh, the bottom line is that the S&P as did the Dow and the NASDAQ and the small caps go to all-time highs, and the NDX 100 couldn't make it. Pretty intense. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade. Think of Swim as we do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, you want to understand the option market, option strategies, futures, outstanding program. If you haven't test-driven yet the Think of Swim platform, so easy to do. You're on the site. Hit the button. Bring it up. They'll allow you to trade with paper money. You can follow Kevin and his team every trading day. And we're talking defined risk. Guess what, folks? <laughs> defined risk, uh, as we've been saying for quite a while, is where it's at. But let me tell you something. You don't see too many days uh, like we uh, got out here uh, yesterday. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. You know, <laughs> this is a little bit, you know, we've got some pretty historic news that we're going to look back on and talk about. No, and no yesterday doubt. was a pretty big day for this market. And guess what? They're not even talking about Eli Lilly uh, uh, this morning and their news. That's just as important. Yes. But it's not. It's getting kind of brushed over by everything else. But so we've got back to back pretty significant news stories here in the last two days, guys. Oh, there's no doubt. Big man. time. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, it's wild. Uh, you know, the folks, is that, I mean, these, these public companies, I mean, they know how to operate. There's no doubt. You get Carnival, you know, you get a little pop, and Carnival's going to push out $1.5 in stock, like ASAP. Right away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty smart. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get well, that? I mean, you know, the, the, these companies that aren't going to be all the way back right away, they need cash to get them through this chasm that they're in right now yes and and what they need is cash to you know to keep boats clean and operational and things like that so i uh, listen i'm uh you know I, I i have no problem with them doing whatever it takes for them to stay in business oh yeah there's no doubt definitely well, you know what's yeah. going to be wild kevin is that you can imagine you know it looks to me, well, we know the whole, I, I can say the whole world, but I don't know the rest of the world. I can tell you, I think everyone in the United States is, is this is going to be the great breakout <laughs> whenever this happens. Do you know what I mean? So you, you can see the reservations. Tommy had been talking about his, his show a little bit earlier. Um, the reservations to go out somewhere are going to be exponential Oof. when people basically feel like, okay, that's it, man. I'm, I'm out. I'm safe. Um, you know, I mean, if, if we if we could get a, an option out of 2022, I think that's where it would be at, man. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, the pent up demand. Yes. Is what people are, in my opinion, are underestimating. Yes. Because this economy is like a, I, you know, you've heard me use this analogy before. It's like a beach ball held under the water. Yep. And you can only hold it down for so long, but when you release it, and let it go, it's going to fire higher. I, yeah. but, but it's not all a rosy picture. 
in terms of stocks because guess what? Interest rates, the yields on the bond, uh, on, on the 10-year note, that's, it's not at an alarming level yet, but another big move like we just saw, and it could start to be an issue for, 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 for stocks long term. Yes, and what Kevin's talking about, folks, you know, when you talk percentages, this is an incredible move. I mean, in the last 90 days, we went just from 0.57 of 1%. To 0.95, we are trading 0.954 of one percent today, folks. Right. <laughs> yeah. And that is that is not a you know bonds, Tom. There was a time in your and my life where you would go to the bond market to avoid volatility. And the move, uh, you know, this week and last week in the bond market is catastrophic in terms of the amount. That, that it's moved in such a short time. There's no doubt. And what Kevin's talking about, this is really cool to understand, folks, okay? That if we go back to the, the you know, end of the 80s, the 90s, which I'm familiar with, right? If, in fact, the 10 would move like two or three ticks, oh my God, that was a huge move, <laughs> okay? And, and we used to trade off it. I mean, the bottom line, every trader would have that bond right there. If you do one tick, you knew the market was gonna move the other side. And yes, we're, we're in a whole different ball game, man. I mean, if, can and, you imagine if someone ever told you, Kevin, that you'd move 31 ticks in the 10? <laughs> it's like, really? Oh my goodness, yeah, that is <laughs> yeah. crazy. And for your viewers, you know, the reason the reason that the Nasdaq was the leader on the upside right after the election and the Nas and the reason that the Nasdaq is the weakest now in many ways is because of the ten year. Yeah. Now, remember the Nasdaq has no financials in it. The other three right. have financials. So the Nasdaq was being helped on the day that the bonds rallied and it's being hurt on the day that the bonds sell off because, you know, these uh, financials have jumped back in, into no, notoriety. So uh, that's one of the reasons why you see the NASDAQ, you know, heavy one day and stronger the next. Just look no further than the bond market and the financials. Yes. Isn't it amazing that it took two years, over two years, for the small caps to basically test this high? It's like, oh, my right. God. I. You know, it's been laying out there for so long, it just blew my mind that it's like, okay, man, it's going to open limit up. It's going to go say hi to its friends, and then it decided to desert its friends, I guess. But bottom line, it went, at least it went up and said hi. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, you know, and remember, if you look for a better benchmark of the health of the U.S. economy or the, you know, forward-looking at the U.S. economy, the future... Remember that's two thousand plus names in the, in the, uh, the the Russell two thousand all U.S. small and medium domestic stocks. Yes, and that's the biggest sample size of the four major indices. So, you know that's really healthy for the U.S. economy that the Russell has finally got involved in this rally. Yeah, pretty pretty amazing, man. No doubt. Listen, folks, every trading day right here, uh, forty five minutes. Kevin, uh, you have a great one, a safe one. Uh, ride them, cowboy. <laughs> there, there's no Buckle doubt, up. man. And this is where you can see when, when option strategies are totally where it's at, though. I mean, it's a no-brainer, right? You know? Unreal. Thanks for having me on, guys. Have a great one, Kevin. Have a safe one. Thanks, Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow up 200, NASDAQ down 153, S&P's up five and a half. Tommy and I come right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up uh, 189. You get the Nasdaq down 166. S&Ps are off uh, 7 and a half. And uh, let's go inside the Dow, Tom. I suspect uh, I saw some of the Tigers talking about Boeing, that that's going to be the leader. I pulled it up. Quite a rocket ship out of the gate. Yeah, look at this thing. Holy cow. We're at 190, man. That's a new territory for Boeing. New that territory for a lot of those airline stocks after yesterday. But again, yeah. No doubt. Up 11 bucks. Trading 190. You got uh, Amgen. That's been all over the place, man. Uh, that's uh, putting 39 positive points. Honeywell's putting 24. You get 3M putting 24. Taken away from it. Salesforce, uh, minus 75. Microsoft. What's going on with Microsoft, man? They, 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 you think they're hitting this thing? Because, uh, you know, I was listening to you. They, what, they said $300 Xbox game. They, they're going to be like the Gillette. You, you, give them the razor, you give them the razor, right, and sell the blades, right? Yeah, I mean, some of those uh, price points they had on the Xbox, I believe one is 500, one is about 299. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just see it as kind of the, the transition of, you know, if you're going to buy a lot of these stocks that look like they're going to accelerate over the next couple of months now, right, and come back, where are you going to get the money from, man? Yeah, right, right. Part of that, at least, you know. Um, and, and listen, some of, some of the portfolios, if you were heavily weighted into tech, coming into this or even as the market's bottomed boy you probably got all tech at this point man the run that they've had so yeah. maybe a little rebalance or something you know it can't hurt um so i, I just think that's i mean microsoft especially man such a strong company um you and, know and, and the heads up here folks is that you know microsoft failed yesterday man i mean this is a monster failure man the, the highs out here are 232 you got up to uh 228 and you end up closing at 218 man <laughs> you know so i was looking at all of these tech stocks yesterday i mean something i tried to recalibrate my own brain to is not only comparing it to okay where are we in some of these stocks compared to prior to covid right because yes. no matter what microsoft's probably going to benefit in the long run from the restrictions and the shutdown even after we come out of them Right. Sure, Everybody's right. more online. They're more comfortable with that experience, whatever it is. Uh, well, you were at 190. Um, you're at 212. So you're up like 20 bucks. You're up 10 percent. Uh, but 
Microsoft had already run. If you would just the year right. alone, you were at 160. You're up fifty dollars. You're up more than thirty percent right now on the year in Microsoft. Yeah. You know, so those are the kind of so yeah, you you have some room. I mean, it's still a thirty percent year for Microsoft, and that's after. I mean, you put this on like a five year weekly, right? I mean, it was a straight rocket ship into it. We were trading at a hundred at the beginning of two eighteen. So you're talking about a hundred bagger, you know. Um, so just keep that all in context when. I try and do those men mental calisthenics. Why is it pulling back? You know, it's just at 230, 229. Right. Now you're at 212. That's 17 bucks, but you're still up 30% plus for the year. But how far can that go back, man? Because it, it, as in, it wouldn't make sense to me if you started to approach even 190 fundamentally or even 160 wouldn't make sense at all because from December where this stock was, they are in a much better position. You know, those types of scenarios, that's that's right. what but, I look at a little bit. Yeah, the, the bottom of the consolidation is 196, you know? I mean, sure. these things, I mean, when you, when you make an extraordinary run like this, there's no right. reason you can't stay in a consolidation. Let's see, we've been in the consolidation now since uh, July. So yeah. it can stay in a consolidation for, you know, basically a year. I mean, I know that Definitely. sounds like a lot, lot, folks, but it's not. It's not a lot when you're talking a, an equity that has uh, 7.5 billion shares outstanding. <laughs> well, and as I say, you're either up 30 percent this year, or if you want to look at it, you're up 100 percent over the last two years. If you go nowhere for a year, that's pretty. Then cool. you're either up 15 percent this year and next year, or you're up 33 percent over three years. You know, so that's that's. That's how it plays out, man. When you see these big moves, that's why they consolidate because you gotta gotta calm things down a bit. Right. Now, hey, let me ask some. Is this the first time that you saw the? It probably is, right? The first time that you saw a gap that that was ex that extraordinary, right? And just gave it up. Ah, uh, well. No, that, that's been, right. Because no, you were in the office in two thousand seven, two thousand eight, too. That's right. Well, yeah. not even right. that. I was just gonna say. I I think the the. The, the run from February 15th to March 24th uh, was pretty much everything oh, yeah, I needed to learn. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, in, I mean, look at I just zoomed it in on Microsoft alone, let alone yeah. missing the SPY. Because there are some huge moves, man, in both directions on some of these bars. They We almost forget. I mean, March 12th, the S&P traded almost 400 points. <laughs> My God, yeah. Um, and then yeah. the very next day, March 13th, it got back 250 to 300 of them. And then the very next day, Monday, March 16th, it traded off again 300 points. Yeah. So. And this market, it, you know, it's having a tough time here, folks. Uh, if I bring this up here, let's go to the NQs first. So this will be interesting. Let's see on the 10 minutes. We're only three minutes into this bar. If we get, let's see what we have here. This will be amazing. It's going to be an ABC down. Okay. I need 1.8 million shares. You're at seven hundred thousand. Yeah, you. Oh man, if this blows, if this does this, man, this will really blow some eyes. So, where we got? Let's see, folks. You got six more minutes on this bar, but it looks like to me it's going to do it. If it, if it, if it has the volume behind it, this would be a monster ABC down the queues. It'd be what two ninety three. That's ten bucks. That would give you a price projection of two seventy five, and we're at two eighty two seventy four right now. So. You know, this this market uh, basically is, is struggling. You can, and you can tell at the beginning of the market, folks, okay, the NQs were fluctuating between like 60 to 70 down to a 170, okay? Then it broke. The S&Ps, same way. The S&Ps, you know, were fluctuating between flat and down 8. Now we're down 16. You know, so I think people are turning around and sitting there saying, okay, hold it, man. Because the amount of money that people are still up is astronomical, man. Yes, I mean, definitely. astronomical. It's like, yes. you know, just a monster. Mind-blowing, totally. Yeah, it, it, there is no doubt. And then if we go to the gold market, uh, you know, the bottom line is that we'll see how this baby's going to shake out. I mean, they smoked gold uh, yesterday in an incredible way. That being said, uh, listen, a lot of these gold equities just basically didn't bite on it. Um, you know, you had a couple that did. AEM was down like seven dollars. Uh, that being said, there's plenty of them that uh, just didn't. And you know, if we go to the GDX, you're going to see the GDX. You know, bottom line. You know, okay, so it went back to where it was last week. It's, that that doesn't do anything. You know, you came down on 6.1 million shares, and you're going into oh no, so six. So for you go down to 43 million shares, and you were going into 53. So it's like okay, man, that wasn't enough to basically wrecked that party. 
uh, which it's, is pretty amazing when, when gold's down $100 and it wasn't enough to wreck the party. It's like, really? Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I mean, some of these stocks just jumping around real quick. I know we're going into a break, and then I think we got a call after that. Um, but Zoom, man, Zoom is approaching levels that I'm beginning to like in this stock, and it only took two days, from 516 to 372. You put it on a daily, and the last earnings they came out with, man, August 34th, four, excuse me, August 34th, 1st, uh, gangbuster numbers, man. You come back into this area of 300 to 350, you're in a different territory where you're getting a 50% discount. I mean, that's just like, they're a company that is making a lot of money, and they're going to continue making a lot of money, man. Now, you know what's so cool what you're saying, Tom, right? You, you get a gap, folks, at 325. Right. This is where a situation comes. You really want to own it. You can sell the put. And you definitely could. It, the bottom line is that you, you know, you know you want to buy it. That's how you do it, folks, okay? You got it. If it doesn't come down there, it doesn't come down there, you get the premium. If it comes down there, you got it with a discount. Stay right there, it. folks. Tommy and I come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 93. You get the Nasdaq up 220. S, uh, down 220, rather. S&P is off uh, 17 and a half. Let's go to Mark and Fort Collins. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Good, man. Yourself? Hey, Mark. Doing great. So, what are we going to look at here? I'm looking at a possible ABC up on U.S. Steel. Go back to the March lows on the daily. 
to the June, early June high. Okay, let's take a look. You got uh, U.S. Steel, the low for the S-454, the highs, 14.52. Uh, they can't uh, seem to make money no matter what they do. <laughs> but they, <laughs> they, they don't die in the vine either, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> a little stock. I, isn't it crazy? I mean, U.S. Steel folks have been losing money forever. I don't know how they stay in business, but they do. Um, okay, so let's go take a look at this ABC. So, oh, I see what you're looking at. You're, okay, so let me bring it closer. Broke the high yesterday with volume. It did a doji. It should be going up to, and my numbers take it to about 13th or 4.55 on the eight, on the 18th of March to um, 10.93 on yeah. June 8th. So that's what is that. I see that. Right. Okay. So 10.95. We hit 11 yesterday. And I have this on a weekly, and, and you are probably going to get the volume. Yeah, you get the volume easy because you get 70 million. We already did 21. Well, I don't know. That could that could that could die on the vine. Actually, on the daily, it was 13.3 million at the highs, and yesterday we did 18.5. Yeah, I can see that. But you know what you're dealing with too, Mark. You're dealing with that 100% move for move from the June 8th number. Do you know what I'm saying? So right. Um, to get volume this week, huh? But yeah, uh, I, I what I would do with this one, man, is I'd wait to the end of the week to make sure you get the volume on the weekly. Okay. Um, just and, and what you're hearing off me there really is that this this thing's been a dog for so long. It's like it's yeah. you know, like when you when you bring this back, folks. Okay, you know, you can see one hundred ninety six dollars in two thousand eight goes down to nineteen dollars, goes up to seventy. You know, I, I it, it's it's just hard to comprehend that how they continue to lose money, and that doesn't matter. They got protected. Do you know what I mean? They they got a lot yeah. of things on their side, and they still couldn't do it. So, but hey, yeah. at the end of the week, if it has the volume, it's you know, I I I'd do it. Hey, you must have you did well with uh, Canopy, right? Yeah, I got in and out of calls awesome. on that twice. Um, I love it. Before Friday closed, and then I got back in for the earnings and. Wow. Uh, nice pop yesterday morning, so that treated me uh, well enough to take my wife to the Four Seasons if I can find one. <laughs> I, I like it. No, seriously, man, I, I was thinking about you, man. I, when Tommy and I were on, I, I, I says, oh, my God. Because that was a tough one. What we're talking about, folks, is that this, you know, Mark had picked up that it was on an ABC up. And it turned into a complex one. You know, so we, we had broken the uh, B point on the... Uh, Second of uh, November, then you pull back, and it's it, it's these complex ones get interesting, folks. Okay, because it's like, okay, what do you mean by a complex one? It, it all it means is that you go back under your B point, you have a contraction of volume, and then all of a sudden you go right over it again. And in this particular case, it not only went right over it, it actually went by the uh, one to one, right? Yeah, I got. I think I think twenty seven may have been it. I think it missed it by five cents or seven. I love it. 2702 or something but um yeah the thing that threw both of us i think is that 16 million share down day on the 4th of november yes we like scratching our heads on that one yeah and, right and, and that had you, you know it's cool there that. and that's folks when you do you know the, it, if you can basically put that technical together and just have some kind of a view on a fundamental i think that's where it's at i mean i'm a technical trader but don't throw away your brain just because you're a technical trader man <laughs> do you know what i mean it's like yeah. hey you know you, you, you had a you, you had them come out with their numbers and those yeah. numbers were phenomenal man when you really yeah, think I'm, of it that they can't write off operational cost you know yeah. so I'd like to get back in, but I think I wanted to see a test 22, but I don't know if it's going to do that or not. I think th these things, man, are going to be just like the gold stocks. Do you know what I mean? That you really got to sit there, wait, wait, wait. When no one wants them, you got to you got to bite. You got to you probably get to you know. Then you got to wait, in whether it's you know, three, four, five weeks, a couple months, right. and you know it's it's the longer ter term package. And yeah. I would say in the longer term package and the Cannabis stocks is actually better if you can put up with the volatility than the gold, because gold is a commodity. It's going to go up and down. You know, once cannabis really gets legal, it's like, hey, man, <laughs> you know, that's a different ball game. That's people that said that's a subscription. People are just going to keep buying it. Do you know what I mean? So, right, right. Cooking, brother. All right, thanks. Have a great one. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. 
So this market's still having a little tough time holding price out here. That S&P is ready to, uh, I think the NASDAQ actually, let me just look at this. This, this NASDAQ just blew out its bottoms, I think. Blew out its bottoms? Yeah, uh -oh. it did. <laughs> From this morning. Look at that. It was 6.30 this morning. We were at uh, 11,553. Yep. Oh, yep. that's right where we're at. Five, well, we hit 545. We're at 557 right now. We'll see what this can hold on here, but. Hey, we'll jump to one of the stocks that's probably weighing down that NASDAQ 100 zoom. So they're at 370. So I was looking at just some of the trades, man. Pretty interesting to look at some of these. And I'll have to take a look at them. Maybe we'll get a trade in Rocket Equities and Options, man, because yeah. there is, as you'd expect in this equity, the key here, right, if you're going to sell a put, is that you would want to own it. Right. What price level? That's an interesting question, right? When you just drop yes. $200 from your highs and you just dropped $130 from where you were two days ago. Um, but you are approaching this gap and you're approaching, and this is where you say don't throw out your brain from me, that's a gap that's reiterated by hardcore financials. Right. I like that gap. You right. know what I mean? Yes. Um, yeah. It's not a gap of a future story. It's not like a gap even like of a Disney, which I love, that says, oh, we're going to create this great service in the future. No, that's a that's a gap that says we made this much money and we expect to make this much money in the next quarter. Now, you're dropping like a rocket ship, man. So there's no – these moves are going to be quick. We're living so, in Tommy, interesting – what would what would a 325 – so the gap's a 325. A, so here's where how, – how far do you want to go out becomes the question as well, right? So we'll take a look at the November monthly once it expires. You're yeah. talking 10 days out from right now, so right. that's next Friday, okay. okay? Yeah. And when you're scrolling up here, the puts are on the right side of the screen, okay? So a 320 is going to provide you with about $7.00. Or seven hundred dollars. That's amazing, man. And now, now you you would have to be investing thirty two thousand dollars for a hundred shares. No, I'm with for a hundred shares, right? right? Just keeping it still, still a, a a great amount of money. If you're thinking about buying it, you're not sure. That's a price level you like. Three twenty. All right. Um, well, so you're you about seven. Yeah, yeah. That, but that's just wait. So here's. What about going to December, though? You're only talking about one more month. You're talking about 38 days to be exact, December. Now, here's the thinkorswim platform, man. You got the expected moves. Okay, in November, you're only getting paid for a $50 implied move, and you're getting paid basically on one side of that, right? Okay, yeah. December, it's almost double the move, man. So when you get in here for December, check out this. This is what made me want to bring it up. How about now $22? Holy cow. Exactly. Yeah, and it – and. That's and to be fair, though, man, this stock is moving $45 a day right now after the big move yesterday. If you're going to be the person selling that premium, you better be getting paid, right? Yeah. Um, because this stock could definitely be below 320, 38 trading day, 38 days from right now. But man, if you want to be a buyer, and if it doesn't hit it in 38 days, you collected two grand, and you're only putting up 32 grand for a position. Pretty cool. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. 
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials uh, right now uh, basically is uh, up 10. NASDAQ is down 284. S&Ps are off uh, 32. Uh, bottom line is that uh, this market's having a tough time uh, holding price. It sure is, man. Interesting. I was looking at the S&Ps, right? So some friends and I were just chatting last night in terms of uh, 120 up, more than 120 on the way down. You actually end the day below the price level before the world found out the news of the Pfizer vaccine. Pretty interesting. But fundamentally trying to make sense of that, the, the, the biggest companies in the world have benefited the most from the restrictions. So, of course, you're going to get a pullback. You saw some of it in the S&P. What really – and then you jump to the Russell, though, just for comparison – you're well above. You were at 1660, okay? You're at 50 points above that level. You're 3% above where you were yesterday still after pairing some of these gains, and that's after the pullback this morning. Like at 7 a.m., you were at 1745. You're almost 80 points. That makes sense. You know, the S&P, the way the market caps are shifted, now there's going to be winners in there from the rotation, but there's going to be some losers in tech like we've seen, man. The NASDAQ 100 is now down 311 points. So it's kind of cool how when you look at everything, right, makes sense in my head. The Russell, the Russell should be up, man, because they are, like Kevin Hinks said, too, that, you know, they're a great indicator of just the well-being of the real economy of workers versus, like, the stock market number. So they are up, S&P's down, NASDAQ down dramatically, um, and Dow popping, haven't helped out by Boeing, especially in some of those. But interesting mm -hmm. when you compare them all like that, I think. No doubt. And if we look yeah. at the cues, what you're going to see here, folks, is this. You know, if you enter candlestick charting, that's a nice island top that's up there. You know, it's going to go after the finished, uh, this, the fill in the gap. The gap is a 276.82. So this is going to get uh, pretty intriguing watching how this thing is, is shaking out, man. Uh, let's say, take a look at, uh, let's see, PBCT for one of the targets in the den here. This is People's United Financial, the lows 937, the high 17. So it's a, let's see what kind of revenue they have here. They, they do two billion a year, nice number. They, I agree, that's a nice yeah, number. No doubt. <laughs> oh my God, look at that move yesterday, holy cow. Look at that, went from 11 to 13 yesterday. Okay, so let's put this on a weekly. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason this can't go up and try to test 13.99. You know, the, the, now this is a classic, folks, if you want to see what a supply line is. Let me bring this back further. And it'll, I mean, it's just about as clear as you can look, can see. Um, so most times what, what you're going to see here is that when you come to that supply line, you know, you go up, you whack the supply line. And what you want to see as you're going up to that line is you want to see the expansion of volume. I suspect we're going to get to that line because see the first time that you went up there, uh, we had got down to a price point of 937. That was uh, in April. You get 
right to the top of the line, which is $13.99, and you had the expansion of volume. That's what normally happens when you're coming up to a supply line as large as this, because what that is, these are everyone that owns it above it, they're saying, okay, time has healed their losses and they're ahead. So you come up, it has good demand, but that supply, it's coming into that supply line. There's plenty of folks that say, hey, listen, man, I want to get my money back. Or I'm only going to lose a couple grand versus I was down five or six grand. That's what you see in there. So not a bad setup. Uh, and certainly those uh, banks, went to, went to, there were the small banks. Went, well, they all, all those banks went to the moon yesterday. Uh, there's, there's no doubt. I forget. They sure did. I get a call yeah. in the afternoon from John from Orlando, Tom, and um, he had a triple small banking index. I uh, heard that My call. God, that was up 50% in uh, one day. I was in the dead. That was a Four Seasons call as well. Yeah, there, there's, no, there's no doubt. That was. <laughs> pretty, wild, pretty wild. Seriously, man. Uh, so a Amazon, Amazon's not getting hit that much. I mean, Amazon's, you know, uh, this is a... You know, you're down $111. It's going down to the lower end of its consolidation. And more than likely, that's they're going to be in court for a long time, I suspect. This is all going to yeah. be laying out, meaning, you know, not in court, but everyone's going to go after them for basically monopolistic positions, sure. for sure. Sure, You know, the yeah. real and you're seeing is it how much they start... make in the, in the middle of that, you know. No, I was just going to say you're seeing it start in the EU, but it's it's a pretty substantial pullback, man. That's It's 10% the last two days. It's 3.7% today. Oh, yeah. Um, that's a little bit of a haircut, man. Um, and Amazon's always hard to buy, man. I mean, yes. Hey, Amazon, you know. You know, it's not to cut you off. No. I jumped. I I said to myself, "What's an Amazon put cost, man?" I was curious, you know, because we're seeing some movement here. Now, this is a company, and they're saying in the den, they're rightfully so selling puts on Microsoft. Way less risky. Way less risky, but much lower returns. That's the deal, right? You know, you're not going to get fifty dollars um, for a put on Microsoft because. That's too much money because everybody knows Microsoft's a huge winner out there. If you want to be a buyer of Zoom, that's why it's big. So Mike, uh, Amazon, same thing, I would say way less risky in the long run. Um, but you got to go, which is interesting, I found, if you want. So I'm in the December options. So yeah. same deal as Zoom, right, with 38 days out. If you want the same $2,000, okay, which is what Zoom had at the 320s, you're going to 2560 not that far for Amazon, and you got to remember now that that's a two hundred and fifty-seven thousand dollar purchase if you decide to buy those hundred shares of Amazon um, for the two thousand dollars you're getting at twenty-five seventy there. Right, and what we're actually talking about is that when we're doing this, folks, is that you want to buy Zoom. That's the, so that the, the parameter, the, the risk right. parameter. We're talking about a different ball game. That the intriguing thing to me about Zoom is that Zoom as one of these companies that, bottom line, has made money right off the right. bat. I mean, I agree. You, 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 we're, not, we're not talking could about... You pull, could you pull up their financials that yeah. you're talking about? Because the yeah. last quarter, man, was is it hundreds of millions of dollars, yeah, I no, think, that we, they were... I was, you know, when I was looking at this, I'm saying to myself, this is intriguing. So they went from yeah. $622 million, but even at $622 million last year, folks, they were making money. So and the, this is a different business model, you know. And I just, the, I remember now, the, the quarter to quarter, they came out $663 million, They were at $145 million the year earlier. Um, that's mammoth numbers, man. Um, you know, is. look at the revenue on uh, a yearly basis. $2.4 billion you're going to be coming in. And what is, could you go to the description screen? What are, yeah. What is their market cap? Uh, you got... $105 billion. Right. Yeah, I mean they have a lot of growth, and they're already taking in two billion dollars a year um, with some serious earnings to go with. And listen, I did. I was using Zoom for. It's going to get used less, folks. Okay, it's a recalibration for sure. Right. But fantasy football drafts, just hanging out with grandparents, people, kid. Every child is now used to it. Who's used it in school? Right. All of these things, like cre we're creatures of habit, and you don't use them. A lot. I, I've discovered it myself just in my personal life for, for hanging out with friends. You know, we live in Florida now. I've got a lot of friends in Boston. They're scattered across the Northeast. I personally am going to use it all the time for fantasy football drafts, hangouts, Friday night, whatever it is. Oh, that's cool to know, right? Okay. So oh, I, yeah. I got to try And a lot that. of those are free. I think it's 40 minutes, a half hour, something like that. And then you can pay for it for a little bit more. Um, which we ended up doing, but not, you know, some, some of my friends had a corporate account already. Okay. They could create a room, something like that. Yeah. 
Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 65, Nasdaq's down 245, S&P's off 25. We'll come right back. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The US deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The gold report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 20, Nasdaq's down 237. You got the S&P's off uh, 27. And, uh, you know, I, the, the, Apple's having a hard time holding price. Only down $1.14, but you can still see the power that Apple has inside these indices. Um, sure. You know, you get a small amount down, but guess what, folks, okay? It is weighing uh, on these indices in a, in a very large way. Pretty crazy, man. I mean, some of the, I mean, you're seeing CRM, Salesforce, oh, that's yeah. another... That's another very strong company, man, that you could look at some some puts added to the Dow. Uh, again, similar story where they had, I was listening to their earnings call last time. We had a trade in there, and you see the gap that we're now coming into. Similar yeah. deal for, for Zoom, um, the bottom of that gap all the way down at, what is it, 218, almost 220-ish? Yeah. Um, super strong company, super strong earnings with that, with that gap there that you're coming back, and it's always nice when you get the support of the Dow. Um, buyers behind you with some technology strength um, for that cloud company, man. Man, lots of opportunity, man. This this is pretty amazing, man. You know, I haven't seen um, the last time that I saw a uh, let's see, 
It was almost, it was a triple, not a, okay, this is what the market had done, folks, okay? The market had gapped up like it did free gap play on the way up, gap down, filled the gaps, and then going all the way back topside. Now, all of that happened within about six weeks. And Man, that was right? like, I, it was like maybe 98 or something. And I remember, like, I've never seen anything like that in my life. I was like, you got to be kidding me, man. It's like, wow. It would be interesting in this S&P, man. You don't have to be a, a star technician to see the trading range we got, man. It's 400 points large. We're right near the top of it. And uh, the bottom's near 3,200, man. The top's near 3,600. And we're sitting at 3,517. There would be nothing wrong. I mean, look at that chart. Can't be clearer, man, that range. My Unreal. goodness. Yeah. Unreal. Stay right there, folks. We're going to think of coming up next. Time, man, Mr. Bowser Chapman, Steve Rose, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Oh, man. Look at wow. him, folks.